After visiting the exorcist steps, I decided to drive about four minutes up the road to 3206 Q Street. 3206 Q Street, Northwest Washington, D.C. is a row house worth about $1 million or more now. So this is it. The street so I can get a better view. If you notice, the house is now white. In the picture I showed, it was blue. I'm across the street in a minute, but I just broke past the house. And even though it's like broad daylight, it feels very like eerie. It feels sad. There's a little parking lot here. Street. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home, and it is worth probably about a million dollars now. But this is said to be one of the cursed houses here in DC. She was a socialite here in DC, and it said that her husband murdered her. It feels spooky. She was a socialite and a playwright, very popular in the DC area, and she even had dinners for you know former Vice President um, Cheney. So she was very well known. When she was about 71 years old, she married her husband, Albrecht Muth. I believe that's how you say his name. And he was only 26 years old. So, what, about 20, excuse me, about 40 years her junior? Who knew him said that they're not, they weren't surprised that this happened because of how weird this man act. And it just goes to show, like, no matter how popular someone is or how famous someone is or how much money someone has, you know, it doesn't, you know, protect them from someone harming them or killing them. So you just got to be careful. You got to be careful. Um, a computer tech had also reported that he saw the husband, Albrecht, shove Viola one time. So there were reports of domestic violence beforehand. So this story, you know, is just an example of what can happen if you are in a domestic violent relationship, try to get help, call the police, tell a friend, tell a family member, find a counselor, just try to get help, get away. Things don't get better. When someone's hitting you and and mistreating you, it, it's not going to get better. It's That person has a mental problem. That person has a problem. It's not you. If you do have a problem with someone, you know, hitting you or abusing you, get out. Just be safe. Take care of yourself. If you are viewing this message, Thank you for watching, and if you need help, check out those phone numbers that I'm going to put at the end of this video, and I love all my subscribers, my viewers, and, and everybody who sees this message, and I just want you to be able to, you know, hit that bell and join me for years to come, so just be safe if you fall into that category. Let this story be a wake-up call and a lesson that it doesn't matter your background, 
It doesn't matter your financial status. It doesn't matter that um, this can happen to anybody. So just be safe out there. And when you're dating and getting married, do your research and take your time. Take your time and get to know a person because we don't know people until the mask falls off. And the mask doesn't usually fall off for about two or three years. So you have to be vigilant. You have to pay attention to red flags and things like that. So just be careful. And I love you. And till next time.